fight! Hey guys, this is Versatile from VST Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. In today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how to emulate an Xbox 360 game controller for the PC game Call of Duty Ghosts, and this will work with your PC USB game controller, or in my case, PS2 game controller. So let's do this. So how does this work? Go to the more info section, we're going to download an older copy of X360 CE, and also the X64 libraries, and we're going to use a 2.0.2.163 program version. So let's go ahead, go to your Call of Duty Ghost folder, and what you want to do is go into your X360 program that you downloaded, left click and extract it into the root of your Call of Duty Ghost, excellent, and go ahead and run that program. So it's going to ask you to create an INI file as well as a DLL file, so go ahead and say yes to both of those prompts. And then once you're done, go through the wizard accordingly. So I'm using a twin USB joystick adapter, so I'm searching for settings both locally and also online for port 1 as well as port 2. So let me just finish up this process here, and here we are. We're done. Now we go to controller one, and let's test the controls. So we got the analogs working, A, B, X, Y, select, start, triggers, buttons are working great. But the D-pad's not working yet. Not to worry. Go to D-pad, D-pads, D-pad one. Awesome. Now everything's working. Great, great, great. And we're good to go. Now before we can start playing the game, it is an x64 game, so what you're going to need is an x64 library file. So go ahead, double click into those x64 library files, just extract everything and put that into the root of the Call of Duty Ghost Files folder, excuse me, and just overwrite everything. Now before we're done, I want you to go into the x360CE INI file, double click that guy, and then press enter and type in version equals one file save and that will eliminate this error pop-up message about version mismatch when you try to start the game it's just really annoying so just take care of it and you don't have to see that message ever again now you just start your game once you're inside the game go to the gamepad section enable your gamepad you may need to restart your game for your game controller to be recognized but after that i guarantee you're going to have a lot of good time so with that said let's jump straight into the gameplay footage tutorial let's do this all right here we are at the main menu of call of duty go so let's do this so take a look in the camera guys here's my ps2 game controller so let's get ready to have a lot of good times here so if i go to campaign and if i go down to options here go to control options go to gamepad just make sure it says gamepad is enabled and here you can check your buttons and make sure you know what kind of mapping you want and all that good stuff so i'm gonna go ahead go back 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 I'm going to go ahead and resume my game here. Dad taught us many things. And for sake of time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut forward out. a little bit here and get to the juicy Good part. Are defined by the choices they make. All right, so I just paused the game, so let's do this. So here's a look at the PlayStation 2 game controller. Take a look at the camera, guys. Analogs are working. Running's working. Melee's working. I could look down my sights and shoot. I can chuck a nade if I had any more nades, but I don't. I can chuck my flash grenade there. And yeah. Everything is working great. Oh crap, let's take out this helicopter. So anyways, that is today's video game tutorial using a PS2 game controller with the X360 CE program. If you guys have any nitpicky questions in the comment here on YouTube page, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.